Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of WWE TV. Uh, a lot of you may already know um, from reports this morning, some of you may not, but um, the Ultimate Warrior has um, sadly passed away. Uh, he was 54 um, and apparently he died uh, yesterday, Tuesday the 8th of April. Um, I woke up to the news this morning just before work. Um, I got a text from my friend, I read it about three times, it didn't quite sink in, I was in a bit of a shock. Went onto the WWE website and lo and behold they had an article uh, confirming his death. So I'm going through Twitter today, Facebook, various different places and um, yeah, fans across the world are just in shock, I'm in shock still quite speechless. I got the text this morning, um, went to work and today I still haven't wrapped my head around it. Um, so I just thought I would quickly come on here and just kind of talk to you about it and let you know if you don't know already but um, sadly the news is true and I, I just can't wrap my head around it. I mean we saw him at the weekend having a fantastic time um, with his family, being inducted into the Hall of Fame, um, which he deserves. He's a legend, he's an icon. Um, and then he was on Raw on Monday, um, you know, seemed absolutely fine, looked really well, done a nice little promo. Um, just thanking the fans for their support and that he wouldn't be who he is today without them. Um, you know, typical warrior fashion, going, you know, off on a tange, just sort of typical warrior fashion. It was it was great to watch, you know, ramblings of a madman sort of thing. But um, that was his character, and that's why we loved him. Um, and no more than 24 hours later, he he's dead. And at the moment, we don't know why, we don't know the details, but um, what we do know is um, he was at a hotel with his wife, um, walking to his car. Um, and just recently, people, eyewitnesses, have said um, that he was seen clutching his chest just before he collapsed. Um, and passed out um, from what it seemed um, but was rushed to hospital and confirmed dead upon arrival um, so I'd imagine we'll find out in the next few days, maybe a week or so exactly why or what happened to him but um, really, really, really sad news and um, all wrestling fans I'm sure know Ultimate Warrior um, I was very, very young when I first started watching wrestling. Um, I was sort of five or six at the time. I used to watch it with my nan. And the, the names and the faces that stuck out to me when someone mentioned wrestling or WWF were Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Undertaker and Andre the Giant. They were the, my, they were the ones that stuck out in my mind. And as I grew up, um, I sort of went in and out of wrestling, but Ultimate Warrior disappeared, you know. Um, obviously we know that over the last 20 years he's had nothing but sort of problems with Vince McMahon and the company itself and they've had a war of words. Um, we don't really know the full details of that. Um, some were explained in his DVD, Self-Destruction of Ultimate Warrior. But, um, uh, Obviously we know at the end of last year um, they made their peace, Ultimate Warrior and Vince McMahon made their peace, he made his peace with the company. Uh, he was then included on the artwork of 2K14, he was in the game uh, and then he was invited to um, be inducted into the Hall of Fame, which he was, um, which we saw at the weekend. He seemed happy, he had his daughters with him, his wife. Um, perfectly happy, he looked well, 
um, and it was just really nice to watch and then we got a nice surprise on Monday night as I say with him coming down to the ring he had the face mask, he, uh, the coat um, he just done a really nice little promo and segment um, all seemed well um, I, I, did, I did watch the footage back again today and I don't know if you noticed but he was holding his chest briefly on the way down to the ring um, I mean that could be anything, that could be a rush of emotion maybe he didn't feel well then um, but as I say news reports are saying at the moment that he was seen clutching his chest just before he died so I don't know whether the weekend was all too much for him I don't know, we just don't know yet and I'm sure we'll find out in due course but um, all I can say is my thoughts go out to his daughters and his wife and his family and friends because he was quite a man and he was a hell of a wrestler um, and just stay strong um, that's, that's it, I mean I'm lost for words still but I will try and keep you updated as much as I can um, all I can say is thank you Ultimate Warrior um, for, your, for the memories and for being the man that you are and were um, your fans love you and um, thank you for a memorable weekend at Wrestlemania and you are a legend and you're a Hall of Famer and you will never be forgotten so thank you and rest in peace.